Very nice. So what is next for you? Is it, is it, are you traveling around for this happiness? Uh, is it a book or a documentary? Yes, it's, it's a book. It's a, um, basically found the evidence-based uh, parts of the world where people are happiest. Where, where and, is that, and out of curiosity? Is there, is, there a happy, is, there, is there a happiest place on Earth? Uh, Denmark is probably, the, statistically speaking, the happiest place on it. But we found the happiest place on each of four continents. And people are happy for different reasons in each of these four. But there is a set of universals. And it turns out those universals line up really nicely with the universals of longevity. And that's, um, so at the end of the day, my research, I think, offers um, not, only a long, not only a happy life, but a long life and the best chances of being able to take, uh, take advantage, advantage of Audrey's uh, um, techn techn technology breakthroughs. What, what about you, Aubrey? What, what are you working on currently? What, what's next for you? So the foundation that I'm the chief science officer of, Sense Foundation, is focused on ensuring that none of the components of these therapies we're going to need in the future gets left behind. Some of them, as I mentioned earlier, are pretty well understood as a good thing for the future. Stem cell therapy is a fine example. Some of them are much less well understood at this point. People really don't quite, quite see the point of developing particular technologies, and it takes uh, visionary organizations such as my own to actually get these things moving forward. So we have our fingers in a lot of parts but they don't tend to be things that hit the newsstands very often. Are, are you pretty well funded? I mean, is, and does your funding come from private or public? Or funding what? is entirely philanthropic at this point. And no, by no means. I could easily spend 100 times what we currently have. Our budget at the moment is only around a million dollars a year, which is definitely not nearly enough to get all the stuff done that we need. Um, and, of course, we have lots of, lots of um, opportunities lined up. We certainly have the scientists lined up, the world leaders in all of the relevant areas who are absolutely hot to trot. They want to get out there and do this work to apply their expertise to the problem of aging, um, and they just need the resources to be able to do that experimental work. Well, if Dan's book does well, maybe he can uh, give you some yeah, funding. So I'm signed up. Just signed up. <laughs> well, it's, it's a fascinating discussion. We could literally talk all day about it. I always feel like I learn a bit, uh, you know, having discussions like this. I want to thank Dan Butner, of course, and Dr. Uh, Aubrey de Grey as well for their insights. Thank you uh, for the viewers as, as well at home for being a part of this conversation. Do remember this, the smallest decisions that you make every day, what you're about to eat, what you're about to drink, can have a huge impact on how long you're going to live. Take a few minutes right now, visit cnn.com slash vital signs. There you're going to find a link to take a scientific test on how long you're projected to live based on your current lifestyle. And we'll get Dan Butner to do that as well. You can receive some personalized advice on what habits you could change right now to potentially add years to your life maybe long enough even to, to benefit from Dr. Aubrey de Grey. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Thanks so much for watching Vital Signs.